of Star is well placed to meet the consumer's increased focus on affordability and choice. With our diversified product basket in multiple channels, Lipstar is well positioned to create tiered, uh, tiered brand solutions uh, to create tiered brand solutions to cater for changing shopper needs. Moving on to our expectations in terms of the categories and channels. Despite retail sales largely normalizing to pre-COVID levels, we remain well positioned with value-added new ingredients trading resiliently. We're working on improving our wholesale channel offering beyond the current range of mainly baking aids and will seek to leverage the broader group basket of products through detailed wholesale channel plans. Our presence in the quick service restaurant industry is a strength with a recovery in the food service channel and new products in product innovations. Costs, although, although we're saying that costs remain a very serious impact to your year. We need to address it. Uh, our cost base uh, service in this uh, channel. Um, whilst exports were under pressure in 2021, this remains a pillar of growth for the group with complementary targeted acquisitions being investigated in this channel to diversify the group's ge geography and customer footprint. Finally, we remain a low-cost manufacturer and partner of choice in the contract manufacturing channel. Spending some time on the trading past post year in, the retail channel delivered a strong performance in December with January and February growth around mid-single digits and on par with growth recorded this time last year. Food service continues to perform strongly. As I mentioned, our presence in QSR remains a strength. Pricing and availability of shipping containers, however, remains a concern. We've seen increasing delays at the start of the year, although demand remains robust, both for imported products and on the export side, if we may qualify. Our contract manufacturing businesses continue to grow as anticipated. If we then summarize the headwinds and tailwinds expected in the coming year, the impact of the conflict in the Ukraine means that the challenges of rising input inflation, supply chain disruptions, currency volatility, and margin maintenance remain front of mind. On the positive side, we see our diverse category, channel and brand solution exposure together with a decentralized operating model as a strength allowing us to remain agile. We'll continue to reduce group complexity, improving margins with the exit from HPC and the repositioning of other portfolios. Our position of protecting our people, protecting our customers and protecting our cash flows and balance sheet will remain a key theme. As I said the other day, we have to protect to grow. Our and we can expand on that further during question times, during question time. We look at the Lipstar strategic journey since its inception. And we started as a branded and private label aggregator built by mergers and acquisitions as shown on the left hand side of the slide. We have progressed to become an efficient low cost manufacturer as depicted in the middle triangle. Going forward to the right hand side of the slide, we have developed category management expertise, which differentiates us and strengthens our capabilities. As we enter the next phase of our journey, we will continue to reposition our portfolio towards focused, value-added categories, driving our brand solutions offering and nurturing our strategic partnerships with our long-standing customer base. All of these actions will be strongly support our vision of being a focused category leader. To summarize what we believe will be key growth drivers for our business. Fundamentally, we believe our business is positioned for growth, supported by our culture of innovation, our branded and private label market position, and our diversified product and channel mix. These growth drivers enable us to remain agile and respond to the changing consumer landscape.